Todd is taking me to one of his favorite bars to meet some of his New York friends. And I've heard so many stories about them, so I cannot wait to meet them in the flesh. Hello, we're here. Hey, <laughs> Scotty. Hi. This is I'm Wendy. Wendy. I'm so excited. Whitney's finally meeting some of my best friends who I haven't seen in years. Are you getting hurt? No, I'm good. We have a workshop to do tomorrow. Right, so if you have like two or three, it gets the blood going. No. I'm responsible. I don't know. Whitney mentioned the fitness marshal class as like a reason why. She just doesn't even want to do anything. But it's like almost 24 hours from now, so I feel like anybody can recover for that. This is not what I envisioned what do you at mean? all. Whitney, this is my girlfriend, Casey. Hi, hi, how are you? Nice to meet you. Hi. 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 Nice to meet you. Well, this better not be an indication of the way the rest of the night is going, and whatever her excuse could possibly be for not being New York excited. What's your best Todd story? I don't know if this is too sensitive for Todd. Oh. But once we were in a show together. Nothing's too sensitive for Todd. We've only done one show together. Exactly. And I had to play Todd's role one night because he was asleep. Because, so. OK, I had one scene. I am not One scene for one second in this entire show. Right. And I was pissed about Todd. it. And everybody was like, does anybody know where Todd is? Somebody called Todd. Everybody's on their phone. They're knocking on the door. And they're like, John. Will you fit in Todd's costume? You're going to have to go on for Todd's you role. You just didn't show up for a performance? Yeah, well, I mean, you wouldn't have shown up either if this was what you had to do. <laughs> it's great getting to, like, meld two parts of my lives, bringing Whitney into my New York life, and now we're all one. I will be right there. I have sent I'm having an amazing time. Being here at the bar makes me feel like I never even left. Like, I've just jumped right back in. There is a lot going on tonight. There's a lot. And I am not a big drinker anymore, so I just don't really feel like dealing with all these drunk people and, like, whatever is happening in life. Listen, I'm going to go back to the hotel because I'm just really tired. What's happening? Jill just got here. We have been I here know. for like 30 minutes. I know. It's not acceptable. I mean, I guess Whitney did her part. She made it out. She met my friends. So if she wants to go back now and miss out on everything else that we're about to go do and all the fun and we got dance, then she gonna go on home and be bored by herself. I know how to get home by myself. We have this workshop tomorrow, and I just want to get a lot of sleep. It's not so till tomorrow night. It's fine. You know what's so funny? Oh, oh. I absolutely, literally, like, died and came back to life when I saw this honey. Like, each and every one of them don't actually care about you <gasps> or anyone around you. You're all relevant, especially you guys. It's just not saying, and I'm done. OK. Well, that was very interesting. See, stuff like that happens in New York, and you just gotta, like, let it pass and move on. Wait, what just happened? I have no idea what just happened, and I think it's time for me to go. Bye.